Hey. I've been sick. Potevo perché le sue usanze non prevedono che una donna <laughs> vada a mangiare al tavolo con degli uomini yeah. praticamente. Good job. Allora ho dovuto per Good mesi job, andare ad appartarmi in uno stanzino wow, a parte e mangiare boomer. da sola. Che poi such anche sua madre move. se n'è andata via. Such a boomer! Okay, okay, yep. Listen, just listen for like three seconds, maybe. Tops. Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. Oh my god, everyone. I can't even talk. <clears throat> um, episode 150. <clears throat> As you may or may not have already figured it out. I'm sick. I've got corona. <laughs> I don't know if it's corona, but uh, it's uh, definitely a sickness. I haven't talked. I've been in my house for literally like six days now. So I'm on a 10 day quarantine because my symptoms weren't like full. Oh my God, I got to blow this nose. Excuse me, I gotta blow this nose. Oh wow, that was a lot. Wow! It's like I was reborn. Oh, it's like I was reborn or something. I can now talk without slime gurgling around in my face. Here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card. But it's not tradition to show you what's on the card. But you'll find out anyway because I'll talk about it. Now listen. It's been over a week since I last uploaded. I don't like doing that. <coughs> But when you're sick, you cough all over everything like I just did. And, um, you know, you just put it on the back burner. You got to wait. So you can't just, you know, if you're sick, you can't just go out there and be like, hey, I'm just going to do it and get, just to get it done. No, okay. Let it rest for a little bit. Let yourself rest and then get back into the game. And do it properly. Ugh. Man, I didn't realize how hard it would be to talk. I thought I was ready. I am ready. We're ready. Today's the steps episode 150. Should have been a celebration, but guess what? We'll wait till 200 before we celebrate anything. Okay? We'll wait till 200. There's no point in celebrating every 50. Especially now... During this, you know, we're in the height of this pandemic. <coughs> it doesn't seem to be getting any better. Uh, I'm definitely getting better. Uh, you know, you may be looking at me like, you look like shit and you sound like shit. Which maybe I do. But look, if you, if you saw me two days ago, three days ago, you'd be like, hey... You're worse. I've done some improvements. I've done some adjustments to the to the Dynamite Gizmo podcast studio, which is literally just a tiny <coughs> bit. But you can't tell. You know, you can't tell unless you see this piano over here. Oh. <coughs> I brought the piano back, but this time I hooked it up to my audio interface, so you can hear it. <coughs> you know, I cough all over it. 
Get that corona all over the place. Talking is making me cough more. I'm just realizing that now. Because I haven't been talking, really. I've been talking to myself. I've been talking to Oobel. The dog. I should blow my nose again. <coughs> Man, it just doesn't stop. This is this is this microphone's gonna have fluids all over it. I don't care. Coronavirus. I really don't care about this podcast though. Care about the planet. Care about. Look, there's no one else that lives here. There's no one else that even comes here. You know, it's just me. <laughs> My nose. This is going to be, this episode's going to be me blowing my nose. <coughs> Just seems like I can't get it all. You know? I blow it all out, and then I take a nice deep breath in, suck some, like, more comes out of the, out of the ether. Okay, we do have stuff to talk about today. I'm prepared as much as I, I can be, all right? I don't want to solely focus on just discussing the coronavirus anymore. I'm I'm sick of hearing about it, and I'm sure you are too. There's nothing I can say to it's going to fill you in any more than the next person. We already know what's going on, you know? We still can't get away from it. <laughs> this is going to be... It's like a revolution we're we're living in right now. Things are never going to be the same. Never going to be the same. I presume. Uh So, what do we have on the table today? Well, since I've been home, I've been watching, you know, I figured I was like, well, if I'm going to be home, I might as well watch some series of stuff that I've been wanting to watch. Now, if you don't, if you do know me, or if you don't know me, I'll tell you this: my favorite show of all time is Breaking Bad. Okay. And once that show was over, it was a uh, it was a uh, uh, it was a tragedy for me because I was so in love with that show and I didn't want it to end. Even though I did want it to end, because when shows go on too long, then that's when they turn shit, and then that's when you lose respect for them, and you're like, ah, this was this was such a good thing, and now it's not so good. So anyway, if you know Breaking Bad, you know they have a spinoff called Better Call Saul. So I was like, ah, I might as well watch that now, that I have the time, and I did. I just finished season four last night. Now I gotta buy season five because it's not on Netflix. And I'm enjoying it. Not as much as Breaking Bad, but I'm enjoying it. <clears throat> I have a feeling. I have a feeling something's going to happen. But I don't want to say what's going to happen. Just in case if it actually happens. Or if it already has happened in Season 5 and I just haven't seen it yet. So I won't say anything. Also... Burt Kreischer, Tom Segura have put out their specials, and Chris D'Elia is putting out his special on the 12th. (coughs) 
I can't even fo- I literally can't even focus right now. My brain is scrambled like scrambled eggs. My brain is scrambled eggs right now. I've even been trying to take some some poot, some hoots, some puffs, puff puff passes, you know, the smoke that cures your illnesses, that sort of stuff. And let me tell you, that's not fun. For two reasons. One, it just makes you cough nonstop like a motherfucker and very harshly because it tickles your throat. Um, uh, and being sick in general is just kind of like a weird not so great high <laughs> cuz i have like oh is that a sticker oh my god is that a sticker that's a fucking sticker why didn't i stick that somewhere where was i yeah being sick is like is like uh it's like you're haha. -ha. I don't know. You just everything seems not real, right? It's all an illusion. I'm so sick. I'm so fucking it's sick. See, my nose is full of Oopa Loopa body ass boots all over again. Like I could blow my nose again. <sighs> I should write tissue paper down. That's something to get. Hallelujah. Let's change that tone. Give me something crazy, like an organ. You any better ones? Give me a better one. Yeah, oh, what a f I'm so glad you come to this podcast. I'm so you're probably so glad as well. Tissue paper. Okay, why don't we get into something that's actually entertaining? Oh yeah, we were talking about Tom Segura. That son of a boo. Uh, he put out his special ball hog. Great name for great reasons. And if uh, they did something with his makeup. And he I'm talks, not diminishing he talks about it in uh on his podcast and whatnot. But they f his makeup and in the editing <laughs> uh, they tried to edit around it. And no matter what they did, he he just turned out to look like a f one of those like a Chinese <laughs> <I'm not coughs> you know like those dolls he looks like a f like a puppet he's got so much makeup on uh, he's boogies all over his face oh gross it's literally all over my face I was just talking about Seguro having Ooh. shit all over his face and I got that all over my face with boogers. And look, I didn't even notice it until he brought it up, to be honest. He didn't he didn't have to say anything, and I wouldn't have noticed. I don't know why, I just don't I still don't even really see it. 
I guess I kind of see it now, but... Oh, what the f***? <gasps> Why is my face all soaked? Hey, I don't even... I'm not even ready to do this! <laughs> Why am I bringing my podcast back when I'm not even ready? Dude, I'm... It's still... I'm still f***ing sick, bro. God, let's just f***ing run through this sh When I was a young lad, I had a friend. <coughs> I had a friend. He was... A, I'm gonna not name him who was his name. But I had a friend who was strange. We were all strange, don't get me wrong, but he was particularly strange. But his strangeness was so funny. Hey, Bill Withers is dead. His strangeness was funny. Okay. He, he, <laughs> he would do things that were so out of the ordinary that people would just have to laugh. No matter how ridiculous they were, <laughs> you would have to laugh. And I mean, I mean, there was the odd, like, straight edge sword out there people who would look at the things he would do and be disgusted <laughs> be completely uh repulsed by his actions but me and my <laughs> me and my friends we loved everything that he did cuz it was funny okay and so there was this one time we were hanging out with him at his house. We were we were we were in fifth grade, something like that. I gotta blow my nose again. Cool. We were in fifth grade, I think. Either fifth or sixth grade. And we used to hang out in his basement because his basement had all kinds of cool. <coughs> Like a drum set, old cassette tapes, old record players. Anything old you could find down there. And so this was probably around 2005, 2006. So, you know, a lot of the <coughs> that we have now didn't exist back then either. Anyway, doesn't matter. We would go down there to play, have all kinds of fun. And it was also a good place to stay away from the parents. Because the parents weren't, uh, you know, they were upstairs. And they were usually at work anyway. Because uh, we get home from, we get off school around 3. And we'd all just go to his house and hang out because his house was the best. And he had all the video games. <laughs> his parents were super nice. And they'd feed us like every day. Anyway, he had some cats. <laughs> okay? He's always had cats. His first cat that he had was named Furface, I think. Anyway, that cat was old and died <clears throat> while we were younger. But by this time, he had these two other cats. And they had a litter box in the basement where we hung out. <laughs> Oh, this is, a, this is a crazy story. So, I don't know. One day we were just hanging out there, making each other laugh, probably making videos and stuff too. <coughs> and, um, <laughs> I don't even know how this happened, but we turn around. <laughs> Oh, that has his pants completely around his ankles. And we're like, what are you doing? And he's like, just wait. <laughs> <coughs> and he's like, making this face like. <laughs> we're like, what is going on? He's like, just hang on. <laughs> and then it's like. And then a brown thing falls from his ass and bounces off his his pants around his ankles and falls on the floor. And we're like, what the f***? 
He literally. <coughs> he just. <coughs> standing up. And it bounced off his ankles and flipped it on the floor. It was a nice big log. This is a story I shouldn't tell. <coughs> but uh, he picked it up and threw it in the litter box. <laughs> and like uh, used the scooper to put some <laughs> litter over it. <laughs> And it <coughs> so his <coughs> uh, so his dad was the one who was responsible for cleaning this up. <laughs> so we go upstairs. I don't know. Maybe a day passed or something. I come over. I'm at his house every day. So I come over <laughs> the next day, <laughs> and we're playing video games. <laughs> I'm dying and his dad goes downstairs to clean the litter box <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and uh He comes back up and he's like, uh, and says his name, which I can't say his name. We'll just call him, uh, we'll call him, uh, Bartholomew. He goes, hey, uh, Bartholomew, did you <laughs> the litter box? And we both start laughing as hard as we can. And he's like, Bartholomew. I think I just said his name. He's like, Bartholomew. I don't really remember what happened, and I can barely focus right now. <laughs> but what I want to say is Dante Smith. The story correlates to Dante Smith. He was a classic writer back in the day. The more I talk, the more boogers I generate. Anyway, he's back like all the rest of them. He had. I shouldn't be touching this stuff. Whatever. He put out a nice TikTok, and no, I can't play. Hold on. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But I just can't, yo. I've got. Too much snot on my face. And it just keeps generating. This is a terrible episode. I thought I was ready, but I guess I should have waited a little longer. But anyway, Dante Smith put out this TikTok. Now I can't... I can't play the audio. Because there's a song in it. But this reminded me of this exact story. This is pretty much exactly what happened. Almost. Let's just sort of. I mean, there was no dress involved, but. So, audio listeners, you're going to want to watch this one. <laughs> That's what happened. Except uh, it kind of. When Bartholomew's pants were around his ankles. Okay, he kind of stretched them so there was like the elastic band of his uh, jogging sh jogging pants, and his underwear were nice and stretched. Okay, so when the poop hit the <laughs> hit the waistband, it bounced. <laughs> it 
which was just it was just I remember it clearly. It was just such a nice bounce to that log. Of <gasps> that was a good time. I miss those days. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Oh, wait. What? That's not right. Why is it doing that? I hate it when it does that. Leave the piano out of this. <clears throat> what do we have here? Uh, yes, so being quarantined is, uh, you know, it's not really anything new for me. Could you even hear me that whole time? The microphone was far away from my face. I'm sorry. I apologize. This is the kind of microphone that you got to talk directly into it or it's not going to hear you. Okay? That's the rules. Um, you know, I'm pretty well home all the time anyway because I'm a, I'm a simp. Is that the word? That's what all the cool kids are saying now, right? They're saying simp. Everyone's a simp. Coronavirus! So. Uh, yeah, what was I going to say? Yeah, you're bored. You try to find stuff to do, right? You end up just watching Netflix. But why don't you crack open something? Why don't you go to your closet? Just pause the show. The show is going to be there forever. So pause it. And then go over to... Um, go over to your closet. Go to somewhere. And just dig through your stuff and find something and be like, hey, I remember doing stuff with this and pull it out and start doing stuff with it. That's what I did with this piano. I've been wanting to get back into the piano. But there was never any room in this room. Uh, and so I had to rearrange it. So now there's literally just enough room. To walk down a slight pathway and sit in this chair. Other than that, you're not doing anything else. Everything else is within reach. Okay, you can't tell, but this is the smallest room on the planet Mars. Anyway, it's nice to come up with cool little neat tricks to do. Like this person did. Okay, the broken juggler. And there's music, so I should mute this. I'll just play my own. Could you do that with a cheeseburger? Listen, audio listeners, I know you f***ing hate me. But guess what? I hate you too. There's really... 
I'll explain it to you, audio listeners. I'll explain it to you. So what I just showed is there's this man with an umbrella. And I'm assuming he is a juggler because his uh, TikTok username is broken underscore juggler. And so he's spinning an umbrella. It's it's one of those like, uh, you know, those umbrellas you put in your drinks, those little ones. This is like a, a full size version of this. So it's flat. OK, he's spinning it in his hand. He drops a fully wrapped McDonald's cheeseburger onto the umbrella, and it rolls like a tire rolling down a hill. But he keeps that cheeseburger rolling around and around that umbrella, and it unwraps itself. <laughs> and then he keeps rolling, and he's bouncing it around, and he's doing crazy stuff with that cheeseburger. And that cheeseburger's staying intact. You want to know why? Because it's uh, McDonald's. Quality. So this is the kind of shit you should be doing if you're quarantined, like this guy. I've got four days left. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I got four days left. Oh, baby. Then I can go back to chugging. Boom. Chugging. How long is this going to go on? How long is this thing going to go on for? Forever? Is it going to go on so long that the economy is never going to be able to come back and we're just going to all crash and burn? And have to survive? Like a bunch of simps? Like a bunch of simpleton cavemen? Are we going to go back? Is this... You know how people have theories about the universe or the the world... And now humans have been here multiple times, but each time something wipes them out completely. And so then civilization has to start all over again from scratch where the apes evolve all over again. What if that happens? What if we all get wiped out? Everything crumbles you know, over hundreds of thousands of years, and then the, the few things that do survive, <coughs> once the apes evolve, they'll study it and be like, oh, aliens did this. No. Your species did this before it was wiped out. What if that happens again? This is crazy. We're all going to die, I guess. Here's another video I can't show with the sound on, but I'm only going to show a few seconds of it. Um, I don't know if it's a TikTok. It kind of looks like it would be, but I don't know if it is. But Garrett Williams, uh, I assume he's one of the people in this. He uh, went ahead and uh, did this with his friends. And I recommend it. So the links are all in the description now if you want to find any of the videos I post because I feel like I should do that, right? So there's these people and they get into the kitchen and once the beat starts, they go at it. There was a jump cut there, I never even noticed, but anyway... It goes on and it goes on and it goes on and it's it's worth the watch because it's a nice little ditty and it's a good little Boom. so gosh let me tell you another story back around the same year I'd say maybe grade four grade five grade six somewhere in there definitely wasn't grade seven because I remember the school it happened at definitely wasn't grade three because I remember the people I hung out with. It was either grade 4 or grade 5 or grade 6. It was probably grade four, 5 or 6. It's weird how when you're a kid, and I know Vsauce and people have discussed the reason why this is, but when you're a kid, time just seems to go by so slow, but in a good way. 
Like a year feels like 10 years. Just feels like so much happens in a year. And then the older you get, the quicker time goes by. Like unbelievably quick. Like just yesterday I graduated and now I'm already 25 years old. What? I'm going to blink and I'm going to be 30. And then I'm going to be 40. And then I'm going to be 50. And then I'm going to be dead. Okay. But anyway, around that same year, I had this other friend. And we were running around the dumpster. And this was before real strict, strict regulations on school grounds was put in place. So we still had, like, metal everything on the playgrounds, rocks, gravel was the the base. What is all that? Um... You know, just the 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 real simp life. <laughs> M- monkey bars, 20 feet in the air. You know, all the jizz jazz. And we would climb all over that shit. And no one ever fell. But the, the swings were metal. And we once threw a, a... Someone once threw a swing at Bartholomew's head and made his head bleed. Anyway, that's a whole different story. So this one friend I had was running around the dumpster and he was wearing a hooded sweatshirt. (laughs) I'll never forget this either. (laughs) But his, his hood got hooked onto, there was like a little metal piece sticking out the side of the dumpster and his hood latched onto that as he was running. And he, he stopped almost instantaneously and I could see in his face he was like like he made the worst choking sound ever (laughs) and it was like whoa you know I laughed hysterically (laughs) as it happened and after it happened but (laughs) we all stopped and like he was like out of breath he couldn't breathe and his he was like "Ah, ah, ah like in super pain but we were laughing at him and we couldn't stop and you know I wouldn't do that now but back then it was funny and any the teacher came over and checked on him his neck was all red and bruised and of course you know after that they had to put a fence around the dumpster because something happened it's nice it's nice to have memories real nice you know if this <coughs> thing keeps up I might just move back there oh no my charging cable why is it my f- <coughs> oh damn it oh well we still got 63% I need to blow again Anyway, here's some people getting choked. face she made when she got choked that was the similar face my friend made (laughs) I can't even pretend like I can do it when I'm this sick see like it plays a note while it says the four it's not supposed to do that I don't like that it does that Audio listeners, she choked. That's all you gotta know. 
I know this is a bad episode, but I really, I really, I know I said in the beginning I should wait until I'm fully cured to put out an episode. But I can't. I have to get one out. Okay, even if it's... <gasps> I just can't wait. I gotta keep my rhythm going. Yeah. I might order some pizza. <clears throat> just cause... I deserve it. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, I'm not going to show this one, right? Yeah, no. I'm going to just close that. You, you have neighbors where you live? I do. And sometimes they're a little loud. They're in the downstairs. Okay, I live in a house. Someone rents out the basement. Okay. They're loud. Sometimes... Well, you tell them to shut up and they shut up. They smoke cigarettes sometimes and it comes up through my vents. And I had to tell them to stop doing that as well. Uh, there was one point in December where they were smoking so constantly that no matter what time of day it was in this house, it smelled like gross cigarettes. So I had to. I, ha I couldn't handle it. They play music. They bang, like not bang, bang, but bang, bang, you know, like bang, bang. There's ATVs that drive around here. There's, there's gun violence. There's prostitution. There's, uh, grenades. And oh, none of those last ones are correct. You use way too many napkins. That's for me, because I am. Because I'm blowing my nose like a constant fish. Anyway, if your neighbor does play music unbelievably loud, and it's driving you nuts because you're quarantined, and you can't even get out of your house and go Ooh. on his door, because you'll spread Ooh. Here's what you can do. If you can figure this out, you know, because usually you're within range of the neighbor's Bluetooth speaker, right? If you can, f if you can manage to do this, maybe consider doing it. Neighbors playing loud music. Okay. This is the example. Okay, that's the example. Look at that. Easy to connect, right? Ah! <laughs> cool, right? I'm sure it would work. It might cause the person to come to your door in a fit of of rage. And they'd be like, what are you doing? Do, do not ever connect to my Bluetooth speaker. Hey, Janice, where are you at? Where's Janice? I just realized, where's Janice? Oh, yeah, she's quarantined as well. She's not here. Well, I've said that before, right? I said that. You like that? <sighs> I showed this in the opening. What is it with old people? I mean, I understand old people. They get old. Their functions don't function anymore. But why? Why? Oh, why? Old people. I just, is it inevitable? You know, like, when I get old, when I turn into an old crusty crustacean, 
Am I gonna have trouble reading things? Am I gonna have trouble focusing? Am I gonna have trouble with m everyday motor function ability? Am I gonna miss the cup when I try to pour a drink? Because I can't even realize that I'm pouring it all over the floor? That doesn't sound like a pleasant life. That's got to be depressing, right? Like when you're that old, you're like, I remember when I used to be able to do everyday things normally. Now I can't and I don't even realize when I'm not doing it. Or are you going to be humble and be like, I knew this was coming and I've accepted it. Because I'm going to death soon. Or by the time of my, when I'm old, are we going to find a cure for age? And age is going to be considered a disease. Okay? Because we're going to say to ourselves, we don't have to die unless we harm ourselves somehow. We don't have to age anymore. We're cyborgs. And then when that happens, what if diseases don't even affect us? What if, <coughs> if <coughs> virus tries to come back? It's just like we're just robots. And we don't function that way anymore. What if that happens? That would be cool. Or would it? Would you want to live forever? And if that's the case, would there be a new law implemented that would state you cannot reproduce a new human unless one human dies, you know, to replace that human? What if that's the case? Because you can't just have people reproducing if people live forever. Because there'd be so many people on the goddamn planet, we literally wouldn't be able to move. We'd be like sardines on a ball. But by that time, we'd probably have other planets, right? So that's how we're gonna ev we're gonna evolve. We're gonna run it around on our planet. Because we're going to stop aging. We're going to keep producing humans. And we're going to be like, we need to put these humans somewhere. Let's go to Mars. Okay, we'll fill up Mars. Fill up Mars. Wow. And then there will be like space sports, maybe? Or like Mars versus Earth. Who will win? Wow, the future is going to be cool. But for now, we're just stuck with this. Potevo perché le sue usanze non prevedono che una donna vada a mangiare al tavolo con degli uomini praticamente. Allora ho dovuto per mesi andare. Like she literally thought she filled that <laughs> cup up. Look how long she pours. She just dumps it all over the table. Degli uomini praticamente. Oh, wait, I missed allora, it. che una donna vada a mangiare al tavolo con degli uomini perché le sue usanze non prevedono che una donna <laughs> vada a mangiare al tavolo con degli uomini. And what is that girl talking about? Allora, ho dovuto per mesi andare ad appartare in uno stanzino a parte e mangiare what? da sola. Che poi anche sua madre se n'è andata via. If that happened to me. My brain would instantly be like, okay, no more. This is not happening ever again. And I would make sure <coughs> she probably is going to do this who knows how many more times. Because she doesn't care, dude. Ah, I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh, I just want some pizza. <coughs> I'm going to order some pizza.
I'm going to order some pizza right now. Because this is America. Actually, it's Canada. One second. Pressing on the cord. <laughs> you see, I tried to order yesterday, but I called around 8 o'clock, and they said they were closed. So I'm wondering if that's because they cut their hours down to just 8 hours a day, or are they closed for good? What's the pizza I wanted to get? This is how disrespectful I am. <laughs> Do a podcast while I'm sick. Ah, oh, stop it! And also order pizza. That's just how I roll. Which ones of those are the ones I was gonna get? Was it that? Oh, barbecue chicken and beef taco. Let's see if they're open. Hi, I'd like to place an order for delivery. Now what can I get, John? I will get a large barbecue chicken pizza. I can barely hear you. What's that? I'll get a large barbecue chicken pizza. Yeah. Okay. And then a large uh, beef taco, number 26. And a large... Okay. And then I'll also get uh, the... Um, the breadsticks with marinara sauce. At which? The breadsticks. So the triple cheese? Yep. Okay, and what kind of sauce did you want? Marinara. Marinara? Yep. Okay. And that's everything for you? Oh, actually, I'll also get a uh, two liter of, of Sprite. Yeah. Okay. And that's everything for you? That's it. Okay. And what's your phone number? Should go to. Hold on here. Yeah.
So it would come to forty nine ninety. And what did you want to pay? Uh, debit. Debit? Yeah. Okay. That'll be about forty minutes or so. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Mm, bye bye. Bye. I got pizza. Well, that's it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it, but I know you didn't because this was a garbage episode. I hope I remember to bleep out my address and my phone number. I'll have to make a big note. Bleep. Phone uh, number and address, please. <coughs> uh, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and uh, coronavirus. Bye bye, everyone. <laughs>